In today's hustle and bustle world, it's not uncommon to forgo brown bagging it and instead grab a meal on the go. It's not surprising to see that food retailers from mega supermarkets to convenience stores carry pre-packaged sandwiches for the hungry in a hurry customer. Ham and cheese. Tomato. Miscellaneous salad. Just a few of the many sandwich varieties you can buy ready-made. Retail customers order the specific ingredients they want in their sandwiches, and the factory hires its employees accordingly. The first step is to load fresh bread into an automated machine. The bread is slapped to ensure its quality. Cheaply made bread will crumble, while high quality bread springs back into shape. A large helping of melted butter is added to the slices to help them pass through the upcoming machinery. For this sandwich, a jizz of mayonnaise is required, which is squirted onto the bread via an automated dispenser. Workers then lay on grated cheddar cheese with their bare hands, feeling each and every bit of cheese that goes onto the sandwich to ensure that it is properly shredded. In another area, traditional ham logs are squished into a slicing coffin. The slices go off to the assembly line where they are then added to the sandwiches. Barehandedly, of course, for an added salty flavor. Next, they close up the sandwiches, occasionally giving a light spank to the naughtier looking ones. The sandwiches are stacked on top of each other and moved to a security checkpoint. Here, each sandwich is cut in half and scanned for contraband material that workers may have lost in the product, such as fingernails, wedding rings, fingers, guns, and sandwich pornography. Sandwiches found to be guilty of smuggling are sent to a sandwich internment camp. In the camp, robot arms force the sandwich bread into formation. Any bread slices found to break this formation will be shot with pepper spray to enhance its flavor. The bread is then frisked by another series of arms to make sure that none of them have reverted to their smuggling ways. If a sandwich is again caught smuggling, they are punished by being smothered in one of the most disgusting substances known to man, egg salad. Roughly 50% of all bread slices are smugglers. At the next station, robotic arms lined with suction cups place the bread slices together. Next, a high-frequency blade uses the power of the samurai to perfectly slice all the sandwiches in half. Then, robotic arms pick half of the sandwich up, spin it, and stack it. Each robotic arm has layers and layers of caked-on egg salad, dating all the way back to the camp's opening in the 1970s. With this stacking motion, small bits of the food particles are scraped onto each sandwich as well as replenished, keeping the sandwich bloodline pure. A behavior correctional arm automatically sorts the new sandwich halves for packaging. While back at the factory, workers again use their bare, unwashed hands to flip and sort the sandwiches. To conclude, here's a rare interview with a factory employee on why they all elect to not wear gloves during the sandwich assembly process. I know it sounds crazy, but whenever I touch these sandwiches, and you're gonna laugh at me, you're gonna think I'm nuts, you're gonna think I'm crazy. When I touch these sandwiches, I feel the hands of every person who's touched them before me and after me. And I feel this jolt of like friggin' lightning or something from my head to the tip of my you-know-what. Sometimes 
while I'm grabbing these sandwiches with my bare hands, I just can't help but throw my head back in ecstasy and moan. So whenever I go out and talk to chicks, I just, the chicks say to me, what are you doing? I say, yes, I do grab sandwiches with my bare hands at a factory, and don't laugh, don't laugh at me. I feel like a spirit, like an orb shoot through my body every time I grab a sandwich. You know, a lot of people laugh at me, they beat me up, they give me black eyes, they broke my nose four times. You know, because because I just like to make sandwiches and I get bullied about it and I get bullied for it. And they pull my underwear up and, and doo doo feces does fall out because of how hard they pull. But will I stop grabbing sandwiches with my bare hands and moving them down the assembly line? Absolutely freaking not, if you know what I mean. Like, no, there's no way. Uh, this is the only thing that brings my life joy. And you can. You can beat me up, you can threaten to kill me, you can dox me, you can come to my house in a black SUV. I'm not going to stop doing this. I love the people of this country, I love giving them soggy sandwiches, and no, I'm not going to stop. What the fuck was that?